I think this session is something that is um, unique and something I've never really been a part of before. So I think it's so great that um, all of you have come to contribute. I think I might kick off with questions. I'm sure um, Tim's got a couple of questions. And I think walking, I mean, I think for me, the invitation to walk with country is a gift really, isn't it? I mean, it is a gift to um, architects, non-Indigenous architects to take up all these things. I think the main question I've got, with the need to build housing, and I suppose this sort of falls on a bit from what Simon was saying, um, all of those things, the donut model, um, the circular economy um, processes that Bell and Tina and um, uh, Michael Romick were talking about, they, it, they can be applied to urban situations. They can be applied to cities, can't they? I mean, it's not something that is out in semi-arid Australia or in the regions or whatever. Um, is that, I'd be interested to hear what you Stay and think about those things. I think, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, um, it's it's about values that have sustained um, our societies for for thousands of years, and and have have led to healthy country, um, and and um, recognizing that well, we need to we need to get back to that, and there are ways. Through uh, understanding those values and applying them in a, in a, in a, you know, a, a modern context, that we can start to uh, restore some of uh, those practices and and you know the, the I guess the, the the aim is to to um, you know minimise any any further harm that's that's been affected on on to country for the last you know two hundred and forty years or, or so so. Um, I think that that is part of that walking together. Let's um, let's share what we what we know, and you know that's uh, in, in applicable in in so many so many different ways. Whether it be um, you know a waterway management, land land management, um, and just you know business economics relationships, how we how we use materials and, and minimize our 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 waste and what that effects that's going to have on country. So I think that that invitation is 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 uh, central to to that. Valentina or um, Michael, do you want to add anything to that? Yeah, I think I yeah I definitely agree that those principles can be applied to the urban um, environments, and um, I think as I was mentioning in in my presentation, the um, we've seen through project that's by applying the first principle of designing out waste is not simple but can be done, and the second principle of the keeping materials in in use. Uh, the, the the third one is where I see the biggest challenges. Uh, particularly with the uh, you know built environment materials, if you're thinking about you know concrete and steel, how we can kind of regenerate systems and uh, live you know as uh, as Michael was mentioning, trying to um, live uh, you know country better than it was before. I I see a bit of a of a challenge as um, as an architect, but there are definitely some initiatives and 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 solution, particularly with uh, uh, <clears throat> natural based design solution where we could trying to do that and together also contributes to uh, the well-being of our local communities. Mm. Mm. Michael, do you want to add anything further? Um, just, just a quick point on, I suppose, the importance of the architect, the architect's role in all of this, um, which, which I'm not mm -hmm. sure if you're going to get to in in next question but um i think that's that's a that's a key thing to think about because as everyone's touched on there's so many aspects to think about 
Um, but for me, it's it's around being that custodian of knowledge, design knowledge, um, that, that can cut across all of these aspects that everyone's mentioned. Um, and, and so understanding what, what your site's about or what your country should be, all those principles that we've been talking about. <clears throat> yeah, just add that quick point. I think the um, I think Simon gave the example of the Merkit um, building, which I think Merkit is deemed to be one of Australia's greatest and best architects, having won the Pritzker Prize. And I think that idea of the architect's role, which you know we keep critiquing endlessly, the architect is kind of God, rather than the architect as someone who. Um, taps into ideas of country, spirit and universe rather than actually being the God, um, I think is quite quite different. And that, to me, I mean, I'd be interested to hear what you guys think, um, everyone here thinks that that idea of ground up and consultation is what architects should facilitate in terms of their role. Um, I'm, I'm an industrial design background, but I've worked with architects. Oh, <laughs> yes, Damien. Excellent, yeah. So, um, <laughs> and a very good friends actually invited me along to this session. And um, <clears throat> um, But I, I learned a lot from those architects around um, part participatory design and, and regenerative design. And so that's kind of flipping it as the classical old school architect knows all and directs the, the project and um, you know the clients getting involved is just annoying just go away clients let us finish our masterful work um, is it, kind of changing a lot so there is there mm. seems to be a lot more participatory kind of design and designing for place and community so I think that mm. I think further emphasis in that area is, is really important to and not, not only just listen to your the people but listen to the place and and country <laughs> and what it, and really look at um, country as a design partner and nature and natural systems and First Nations people as a partner um, rather than something we need to acknowledge, but an actual design partner would be a really good approach. Um, mm. This is my little two cents there. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I, th I think the participatory, participatory approach is becoming more prevalent, but I've just been to two meetings in my work place and I just think oh my god the old school approach is pretty entrenched sometimes um Tim have you got any things you want to no but I would like to just say thank you to everyone it's been a fantastic uh discussion and I think um maybe adding on to Peter's positivity there you know it's so great to be able to have these um amazing conversations and um to everyone giving their time, not only now, but uh, the broader ACAN team, uh, as Peter mentioned, we're a volunteer organization and uh, yeah, time is very valuable. So a big thank you to everyone. Yeah, any more questions? We could call it a wrap because it's getting kind of late. I was just going to say a thank yeah, you. Yeah, I know, charity. Couldn't stop myself. Michael, I just wanted to say thank you more broadly for bringing up enoughness and putting that back out there. Um, I know this comes from Danielle, but I think yeah. it was a pretty busy week this week. Uh, I'm very grateful to hear that word being said out loud and, and trying to foreground that. Yeah, so thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Charlie. I mean, it's been a unique conversation and I think it's very what we've discussed and what you've presented today um, um, is unique and, and extremely special. I don't think um, we'll ever see anything else like it. So I'm looking forward to it going up on uh, YouTube. And I'd like to thank everyone. I mean, we talked about this endlessly and it's amazing that it's sort of fortuitous and Sarah, amazing that it's um, come together in the last minute um with our guests because we originally thought we'd only have two guests now i should before we go have an ad if you're interested you can all subscribe to um the mailing list at 
um, Acan Australia and um, get onto our Instagram account, acan.australia. But um, I think the segue from this uh, particular event is our tree campaign. And we're going to be doing and talking about trees, all things trees on August the 26th. And um, I think I am reminded today that from this conversation that trees are certainly embodiments of country spirit and um, universe and certainly living beings. So we'll be talking about trees in relation to um, both urban settings and um, issues around ecology. And that will be August, Tuesday, 7.30 p.m., August 26th. And I'm told that um, we're going to post a few pictures of trees up on our site. So thank you, everyone. I think I'll call it quits. We've been going 90 minutes. And um, we'll be in touch to with you soon and I, I can't tell you how grateful I am um, to the speakers and what a unique presentation these have been. So thank you everyone and we'll be in touch when we um, put the recording up on our channel. So Paul, Tim, Valentina, Damien, Rihanna, thank you for organising um, that as well and um, and I noticed my good friend Leslie might even see you soon for a coffee. So thanks, everyone, and see you around next time. And I forgot Michael. Thank you, Michael. Thank you.